Hi there, this is Eric Keller for Otoy. In this video, we're going to talk about working with Orbix files and the Octane integration for Unity. So Orbix is a file format that can package an entire Octane scene or even just parts of an Octane scene. And this file format can be imported into Unity and used as part of your Unity projects. So let's switch over to Unity here just to take a quick look at what's going on. So I have the installer scene and you can see that we have the uh, Octane uh, UFO here on our plane and there's also this mysterious gray box. This mysterious gray box is actually our Orbix file. If we take a look in the hierarchy view, you can see that there is a node called smoke and if we expand it, there's a file called ufosmoke.orbix. So this is an Orbix file and it's represented by this gray box. And uh, by default in the installer scene, it's actually hidden. So you need to go into the inspector and make sure that you turn it on so you can see it right here. Now what this is, is this is actually a puff of smoke. In fact, it's the same puff of smoke that we see here in Octane Standalone. Uh, you can edit this so that it becomes visible within the uh, render using Octane for Unity by selecting it, going into the inspector and finding the view source button. So if I press view source, this is gonna pull up the node graph editor, which of course looks an awful lot like uh, Octane Standalone. So I'll expand it here. And we can see that we have a scattering node, smoke VDB, and then UFO smoke. So this is the actual placement in the scene. And here's our VDB. VDB is a file format. It's kind of a generic file format for things like fluids, uh, smoke, fire, and that kind of thing. And if I select it, I can go into the inspector here and start to play with some of the settings. So for example, maybe I want to bring the density up to make it a little bit thicker. So as I bring it up, you can see the smoke becomes more visible here and it starts reacting with the light. And then of course, I can also adjust the other settings in the volume medium, such as absorption, scattering, phase, and so on. So let's close this for a second and we can see that our smoke is now appearing nice and clearly within the installer scene. So that's uh, one way that you can work with an Orbix file. An Orbix file can contain anything. It could be geometry, it could be octane shaders, octane lighting, VDBs, even animations. So uh, it's uh, a file format that can carry a lot of stuff and bring it into your Unity scene uh, to add even more uh, interesting dimension to your Unity projects. Let's talk a little bit about exporting an Orbix file and bringing it into Unity. Okay, so let's switch over to Octane Standalone. And from Octane Standalone, the only things I really want to save is just the scatter node and the VDB node. I don't need the daylight environment or the render target, so I'll select those and delete them. We won't see anything up here, but don't worry, we still have these nodes right here. And as I mentioned before, these could be uh, geometry, they could also be Octane materials, uh, whatever you need to export from your scene. So now I'm going to choose File, Save As, and I'm going to save the file to my Assets Octane Installer Scene folder. I already have one called ufosmoke.orbix, so I'll just call this ufosmoke2.orbix, and I'll choose Save. And now if I go back to Unity and check my project file, if I go to the Assets Octane Installer scene, you can see here is ufosmoke2. So what I can do now is I can drag this into my scene, and we're gonna see that it's uh, kind of large. It's encompassing the entire scene, so I'm gonna select the Orbix file and scale it down and move it down here. Zoom in a little bit. I'll move it off to the side. So you can scale it, rotate it, translate it. Uh, and then let's go over to the PBR viewport and you can see my camera view, view here is on the opposite side. So let's rotate so that the editor kind of matches. So you can see very dimly here is my smoke. So uh, if we can take it and move it around in the scene, you can see it's moving around. And you also notice that it has that same kind of blue color that I created in Octane Standalone. So if I select this and I want to edit the look of the smoke, I can just select it, go to the inspector, choose View Source. This brings open the uh, Octane Node Editor. So let's change the view so we can actually see the smoke here. And then we can go in here and actually adjust the scattering and so on. So let's say I want to make it much denser and maybe change the phase and we could even add a little bit of emission to it. So we have a very bright looking smoke. This is probably a little bit too bright. 
So we're going to bring it down and start to even add things like if we wanted to make it look like a fire explosion, we could do that. It's just a matter of playing with some of these settings. These settings, of course, are explained in more detail in the documentation. Really, the point is just to see how you can actually bring this into a scene and use Octane together, Octane standalone, with a Unity. If I close this and take a look at our scene, now we have our bright blue smoky ball right here. You can even see it reflected in the bottom plane. And then we have our original right here. So as I mentioned earlier, you can in fact uh, export Orbix files from any of the 3D applications that uh, support Octane as a plugin. So for example, I'm in Maya here and I have uh, the same VDB in Maya rendering with Octane. You can see here in the uh, viewport. And if I want to save this as an uh, Orbix file, I can select the object, go to the file menu, and choose uh, export, either selection or all. So if I do export selection and go into the options, from the options menu, I can choose uh, Octane Scene, Octane Animated Scene, or Octane Alembic. All of these are going to export using the uh, Orbix format. So I'll just name the file smoke. Orbix and save it to disk. If you're exporting an animated file, what you want to do is make sure that you set your animation range. So you want to set this to name, number, extension, and then most importantly, set the frame range that you want to export as an Orbix. And then once it's exported to disk, you can import it into Unity. So I encourage you to experiment importing Orbix files into your Unity projects. And once again, thanks very much for watching.